are new here my name is Amber today I'm going to be doing two easy fall crafts that you can create yourself most of the stuff's from the Dollar Tree and some other things are from Hobby Lobby but for the most part everything was from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to recreate one thing out of a Dollar Tree item and then I'm also going to be making a fall banner that I have placed on my fireplace so if you would like to see me create these crafts, keep on watching. I also want to let you know that this is a collab video with my friend here on YouTube, Sarah. She's also going to be creating two fall crafts as well. So I want you guys to head over to her channel and check out and see what she created to give you guys some DIY inspirations. My fat man's sad. He wants mommy to pick him up. But head over to her channel. I have it linked below. Go check out and see what she has created as well. She's pregnant with her first child, a baby boy. She's almost there. It's almost baby time. So I'm sure you guys will love her. She's a sweet girl. Head over there. Let her know I sent you. So let's get started on these crafts. I got some cute and simple things to show you guys. Okay, the first craft I'm going to work on is the banner. So everything that you will need for the banner. I got this four pack of burlap banners. For 87 cents, it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They were originally $3.49, but they were on clearance for 87 cents. And then I just got some black paint there from Hobby Lobby, um, my glue gun, and some my glue sticks. And then I just got some stencil that was also from Hobby Lobby. And then you're going to need some rope. There it is over there, Heidi. So this is all you need for this first crack I'm going to show you. So right here, I'm just trying to measure out how much I need for the length of my fireplace. So just use the nautical rope to measure out where you're going to hang it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my black paint down on a paper plate. And then I'm going to get my stencil and kind of place where I want to have the letter placed at. It doesn't have to be perfect. You won't really be able to tell once it's hanging up. Now you will want to get a paper towel or something to lay underneath the burlap because the paint will seep through it and you don't want to ruin whatever space you're working on. So then I just dabbed the paint along the letters. And after I'm done doing that, I will go ahead and touch up any mistakes or anything that kind of didn't fill in the letter all the way with uh, a small paintbrush. Now the last step of this, once the paint is dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hot glue along the edge of each burlap and then go ahead and place it on my nautical rope. I did space these, I wanna say about one and a half, two inches apart. Now I did get this sign from the Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna go ahead and redo this and recreate it. I'm going to paint it white and then add on a chevron bow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this layer that's on there so then I can sand it to remove any glitter or any extra paint from the letters that were placed over it. I am leaving the stem portion on here. I did remove the little straw bow though. I wanted to keep the stem just so it can kind of give it some pop of color. And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always 
Now once I'm done sanding on the area, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. I did do about two coats. This craft paint does dry quickly, but if you would like a tip, if you are in a hurry of and needing to get it dried faster, my number one tip for when I am crafting is to use a blow dryer. It makes the drying process go from minutes to literally probably like a minute and this thing is dry. And this is the finished pumpkin. I love the way that it turned out. I feel like it has that farmhouse look to it. I decided to keep it pretty simple. If you would like to add anything else, you can. That was the good thing about this. And then the burlap banner turned out pretty nice too. Another simple and easy project. I feel like you can also add any leaves or some type of other item if you want to give it a little pop of color. this video and you found some inspiration to make some fall crafts yourself it is officially fall now and fall to me is all the way until thanksgiving so it's never too late to still decorate those two items that i created were so simple and easy and the pumpkin sign you can always add in more things to it i'm not that handy with the writing as far as painting so i decided to just leave it white and i felt like the chevron bow kind of gave it a pop and popped it out so if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to head over to Sarah's channel and go check out and see what she created for fall, her little fall craft items over there. Let her know I sent you, and I'll see you guys in my next video.